are diving into the rest of our Rye New York project and we have a lot of spaces to share. So stay with us till the end so you can see them all. I mentioned this in our last webisode and if you haven't seen it, go check it out. We shared the first half of this project. Our client loves black, white, and wood tones. So that color palette was carried throughout the entire home to unify all of the spaces. And then we added little details in each room to make them feel different. In the kitchen, we really went with a black, white, and wood theme here and kept it very clean and minimal. Our client really loves everything to kind of be smooth and just not a lot of rough edges. So we went with a vertical stacked tile and one of my favorite details in this space is that we had this off-center window because it's a remodel, things aren't exactly perfect. So we decided to put this really long modern sconce on one side of the window to balance it out and then incorporated a black stain on a built-in that's a little bit outside of the kitchen to tie in with the wet bar you saw in the last episode. And even though we have three different finishes throughout, they work really well together. The office is beautiful. You walk through these amazing steel doors. It has so much natural light coming in. We had not a lot of space for furniture, but our client really wanted to be able to have additional seating for people to come into his office. So we grounded the space with this incredible desk and then incorporated chairs that have really curved edges. And you'll see that as a theme throughout the entire home to soften all of the clean lines throughout the windows and the finishes. I love the built-in. It has this great detail we added around the sconce, which I think just finishes off the space. It shows a thoughtful touch and makes a statement. Moving to the master bedroom, we kept the color palette very simple in here. And I think the vibe is a bit more masculine. That was the direction that we were given. And I love how it turned out. With the finishes, when you look up, you'll see these really cool cable ties that we incorporated into the vaulted ceiling. We did these nightstands that have this leather sling detail and sconces instead of a traditional lamp. In the master bathroom, we started the remodel with these incredible marble mosaic floors. And I think that they set the tone for the entire space because they mix this white and then a warm gray together. We carried that color onto the vanities and then did this super thick countertop, which I think is modern and makes just a really great statement. We have gorgeous views in this bathroom and I think that that is the star of the show. We carried that thick countertop detail into the guest bathroom and then paired it with a more graphic tile and really cool black hardware. In the guest bedroom, we used a bed that you've seen as style in a more feminine way and I love that we are showing it in a more modern, masculine way in here. In our client's son's room, we started with the finishes. So the detail on the ceiling is really great. We did a beautiful stain, tongue and groove with beams. We also brought in a lot of those curved edges that you saw in other parts of the house with the corners of the headboard onto the sconces. And I think it's really cool how you can see these like soft edges, but the space feels very fresh and modern. We made it personal by incorporating this basketball art above the bed, and I just love how this room turned out. On to the girls' room. This room is so cute. I love the woven textures, 
and a little bit of color. We did a lot of black and white in the house and we incorporated some of these rosy pinks and blues. One of my favorite details in this space is that we wallpapered the ceiling and it feels fresh and youthful, but also could grow up really, really well. In the adjoining bathroom, we reused the existing vanity and swapped out the hardware and the faucet and kept all of the finishes very classic and then added some playful details like the articulating sconces and the vintage rug. Thank you so much for watching our Rye New York tour. If you haven't checked out the first webisode, go back. This home is incredible. The views are insane and the design, I have to say, is really good too.